So Pokemon recently dropped. Man, this mic sounds like shit. Hold on. That's pretty good. Yeah, this will work. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to bear with me until I get my mic stand because where are you at? This little little fucker broke it. What are you looking at? <laughs> Anyways, but on to the topic. So recently Pokemon dropped their Pokemon Presents. Now a lot of you, if you don't know, a Pokemon Presents is a live stream that, you know, it usually has announcements for things that they're going to have going on for the rest of the year or maybe future. So like 2024 or something like that. In fact, the main thing that you probably know to do this is Nintendo doing their Nintendo Directs multiple times throughout the year. And that's pretty much all this is, is a Pokemon Nintendo Direct. There are bugs in this thing. There's fucking bugs on this stick. What the fuck? God damn it. There's bark everywhere. I know. I know it sucks, doesn't it? And I gotta say about this Pokemon Presents, it was disappointing to say the least. Now before I start shitting on things, I do want to talk about how these Directs can be a very positive experience and how a lot of them can be really fucking cool. Nintendo Directs throughout the years have been, you know, pretty fucking amazing sometimes. Back in 2020, they weren't really that great because they didn't want to announce things when people couldn't really leave their house to buy shit anyway. So a lot of stuff was postponed for later years. See, these Nintendo Directs can be great events, you know, get a lot of people together and get hyped up for the next game that's coming out. Maybe you're looking to see a trailer for a game that you already know is coming out, such as back when Tears of the Kingdom was being talked about. Every single Direct, I was hoping and praying that A.G. Numa would pop on the screen and actually talk about this game I've been looking forward to for so long or shit sometimes you know you just have a few drinks and then you know you just watch a bunch of shit on a live stream sometimes it's hype sometimes it's not but overall there's still some cool things that get announced besides 2020 now with these nintendo directs a lot of times they'll fill things out with filler games such as just dance 2023 motherfucker i already know that that's coming out you don't have to talk about this but they do because when they talk about these games and they actually announce something you're really excited for, it makes the wait a lot more hype. It gives build up for the shit that you're actually waiting for. There are bugs on this stick! And mind you, Pokemon and Nintendo is not the only one to do this. They've had other things such as Smash Bros. Directs, Animal Crossing Directs, and it, it most recently a Pikmin one. And things like the Animal Crossing one and Pikmin one being just dedicated to a single franchise aren't always that exciting. Especially something like the Animal Crossing one where by the end there they were just kind of announcing shit that should have been in the game to begin with. Like wow, Brewster's in the game? And I think them being dedicated to specific franchises don't help their case because there's not a lot to keep looking at. And I think that's a big thing with Pokemon. The Pokemon Presents, you know, usually aren't that eventful. Uh, announcing shit like Pokemon fucking sleep and brush or whatever it was called where they you know taught you to brush your teeth or something why the fuck am i gonna let pikachu teach me how to brush my teeth he's a wild animal who probably doesn't brush his teeth to begin with and he's yellow the color you don't want your teeth but a lot of times these things aren't that eventful mind you there are some hype moments such as the time that they announced shining pearl and brilliant diamond the diamond and pearl remakes those were hype a lot of people were wanting a diamond and pearl remake for fucking years like people were begging for it and real quick i want to say fuck you those games were good if you disagree you honestly can just I don't know what you can do, but I want it to be vile. A lot of times, they don't talk about a lot of cool shit, so I usually go in without expecting anything. <sighs> but man, were these boring. So this kind of opened my eyes up, showing that maybe we shouldn't even have a Pokemon Presents in the first place. Unless, you know, maybe it's absolutely needed with big announcements like remakes or brand new games. But I don't know, man. This new one was pretty fucking shit. I remember sitting there watching it, and first of all, I had internet issues. I couldn't even connect to the damn thing, and apparently half the people in chat couldn't either. So it wasn't just me. Do you fucking mind? I'm trying to record a video. What do you have to say? But no, a lot of the chat had problems with internet connectivity, and even I did, you know, all that shit. I even tried switching to the UK one, because I couldn't get the first one to load. But guess what? Even the UK one wouldn't load. On top of internet issues, they just didn't announce a whole lot that was worthwhile. So, looking at the list of things that they announced this time around, it was a Pokemon Championship that they're going to be holding. Pokemon Path to the Peak reveal, which was some kind of animated series, which... Looks like it's an, a card animated game, but it's not an anime. It looks very American. 
which is fine, but it looks like it belongs on Disney Plus, to be completely honest with you. Uh, information about Detective Pikachu 2, which is okay. Uh, Pokemon Horizons, the series, which is something that a lot of people are very excited for, me included, being this is the first series without Ash, so that was cool, but it's already been announced. They kind of didn't really go into too much about the show. Shit with Pokemon Go, you know, I think Go Fest is coming up pretty soon. Stuff with Pokemon Unite, League of Legends Pokemon. They announced a new pair for Pokemon Masters EX, which is cool if you're an avid player, but I only hop in every now and then to actually, you know, care. Tatsugiri comes in Pokemon Cafe yet again. That's three mobile games that they've talked about. I just want to mention that. And then they, after that, announced, you know, Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color and Pokemon Stadium 2 coming to the Switch Online, which is cool. It's cool. Especially Stadium 2, being that the first Pokemon game that I ever owned. But where are the mainline games? Mind you, I'm sure Pokemon's not going to do mainline games because they could actually sell them separately and probably make more money off of that. But come on. I mean, those were cool additions, but yet again, they were side games and trading card game is just kind of a okay addition and honestly i guess expected being the game boy color has games on the switch now shit on pokemon sleep which is an app that i don't even know why they're making uh to be honest it was an update on their progress on it from what this looks like another pokemon animated series uh you can get a free mew in the games and then scarlet and violet dlc which from someone who did not play scarlet and violet even i gotta say this looks boring as shit man this dlc does not look cool at all like, Sword and Shield sucked, and it still had better DLC than this at the very least, from what I could tell. The only thing I gleaned from this that actually seemed really cool was some of the character designs and Raikou's weird long neck form. I mean, someone played around in Pokemon Fusions and fused him with Girafferig. There you go. But that was the P Pokemon Presents. <sighs> oh, man, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I guess nothing. But still, like, my main problem with all the stuff that they announced... All of this could have just been announced on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever the fuck. And honestly, it would have the same effect. Most people are not going to give a fuck about what you showed us. And you created this big event for everyone to tune in and watch. Pokemon Directs, or excuse me, Pokemon Presents, Nintendo Directs, uh, anything really that involves these game announcement live streams are big deals. So things like Nintendo Direct, people tune in because it's a hype moment. Things like this, it just feels scummy kind of because it's obvious that they're only putting these things in the pokemon presents just to get free advertising so people see them i guarantee you though the amount of people who actually will give a fuck about this will be on your social media platforms there is no need to get people hyped up for this kind of shit honestly just send out a fucking email because a lot of this was so boring maybe you don't even need to post it really all it would take would just be a tweet even the dlc maybe have a youtube video dedicated to it talking about the dlc in length maybe something like that but don't announce something as hype as a game announcement live stream. And then basically announce fucking nothing. It's really just a waste of time. And I know, I'm just some white guy on the internet bitching at, at Pokemon. Oh, we don't have enough of those. But I don't know, the series is special to me. And when I get hyped for this and then just immediately get disappointed by the amount of shit that they throw at us, it just kind of hurts my fee wings a little bit. And even then, if you're gonna have something like this, announce something maybe more worthwhile than just talking about DLC. Like I said, you could just do that in a YouTube video. Announce something cool as shit, like a collection of the Pokemon games for last gens coming on Switch. Like Emerald, fucking Crystal, and Yellow coming on one fucking disc. That'd be cool as shit. Announce that instead of Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon fucking old games that we're not even main series coming onto the Switch, which Stadium 2 is cool. But still, other than that, there's no point in announcing half this shit. This series is very near and dear to me. Mind you, I'm not as big as a super fan as I used to be, but I still hold a lot... <laughs> fucking hair in my mouth. I still hold a lot of this shit very close to my heart. I'd just like to be surprised by them for once. I don't know, that's all. I'm done bitching. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm a professional bitcher, I get that, but... Uh, Fuck you, I wanted to talk about it. Anyways, have a nice day.